Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to the backyard here in Grounded. There is the house. There is the sprinkler. This is the flooded zone, and over there is a hidden base. In fact, there's many different hidden bases inside this game, and man, oh man, is it awesome. At this point in the game, we've come to the end. There's nothing else for us really to do except for to just continue building bases and such. If some of you saw our live streams, we are pretty much 100% in this game. Uh, currently available. Only 20% of this game is done too, so there's a huge backyard for you to explore, and only 20% of it is done. So check this out. We're in the backyard now over by the rose bushes. On the right side, if you're looking away from the house, uh, there's a large uh, little garden there for the roses, and it separates it from the rest of the yard, and over there is the oak tree as well. So I wanted to show you all the hidden bases in this game and where to find everything. So make sure you click or tap that like button and subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to show you where every single base is in the game and what is inside. They've completed these bases, but you're not allowed to get access to some of them, which is a little confusing. So if you're like us and wondering, can we get in there? Is there a way in? I'll tell you which ones you can get in, which ones you can't, and which ones are complete, and what's inside. So this is very good for after you've completed the game, just to know what might be waiting for us next. So right here is what's called the Mysterious Machine, and those three lasers are pointing right at it. And once you press the buttons of those, a lot of you know that something explodes over at the oak tree, and you're supposed to go find what is known as the oak tree base. Now don't worry about my food or water or anything like that, it'll be fine as we're flying around here. Over here is where the oak tree base is, and inside this base, you probably uh, made it in here, and if not, you know this is where, uh, well, you need to know where Burgle is, which is somebody who will give you upgrades and such. So inside these doors, our good friend Burgle should be over here somewhere. He's disappeared in our game. We're done with all the quests, so he somehow vanished, but he should be right here. But underneath the floor is a hidden room. Like you can see, for example, the battery room over here and whatnot, but there's a hidden room just underneath the main uh, building, which is kind of strange. Uh, there's nothing really there. I just need to find it because it is a little confusing. Uh, should be right over, I believe, here. Yeah, there's like a hidden, what looks to be like a battle arena underneath the base, but nothing's in it, so it's probably a placeholder for something else or just uh, part of the, uh, the building in total that they put a floor on top of. All right, so once you're done with this base, one of the bases that we found after this is called the Hedge Base. I'll show you where it is and how to find it next. So once you leave the tree... You'll probably want to go and continue building your base. But once you get uh, excited enough to go explore more, on the left side of the house, as you can see off in the distance, there's some hedges over here. And this is known as the hedge base by the bird bath. So if you find yourself the rash uh, little action figure, you're probably going the right way. I believe he's around here somewhere, I think. Maybe that's on the other side. But there is a large wet area known as the, uh, the flooded area and it's been flooded by yet another sprinkler. So pretty much on the other side of the rose bushes, just over here, is the uh, what is known as the, hay, uh, the hedge base. There's also a haze base, so don't confuse the two. So to get up there, there's a way where you can get around onto some of these uh, branches just on the other side. You'll need to go all the way back over here, actually, to get up top. And there's kind of a dip in the garden uh, where you'll need to get up. So if you find an area like this, you should be able to start climbing up here, and you'll know you're going the right way when you see one of these uh, analyze stations. And you'll need to make your way across all the branches and such to make your way uh, towards either the frisbee, or you can go up the mushrooms past the apricot juice all the way down here, and you might be able to fly into the base this way. Or you can make your way across the birdbath. Now over here there's a frisbee and there'll be a boss battle with a broodmother spider. It's not really a boss battle, but it's just a more tough than usual spider. We've already uh, taken care of that spider. So here's where you can find the frisbee, and there is where you'll have a quote-unquote boss battle. So once you make your way over here, once you've gotten here, this is where a higher area is, which leads to the hedge base. And you can only get here by getting up through uh, either the leaves or onto the branches. Now it's seemingly known that the... Uh, People who've been working at this base, whoever been shrunk down, is probably using a secret door over here somewhere in order to get up to the top of that base. So how are they getting through? Well, they're getting through here. Whoever got shrunk down uh, installed some sort of a tunnel here. You won't be able to get through this door, so keep in mind this will be locked. But here is how they've been getting to the hedge base 
right up this way. Boom. Now we're at the base of the tree. And inside the hedge base, there's a lot of lore. You can actually go inside this base, but it is a little tricky to get to. You will not be able to enter this door here. But whoever was walking here has been jumping up the mushrooms and then going up the uh, spiral uh, ramp all the way into the base. Now, once you get inside the base, I'll show you where you can enter it. There's a, probably more than one area. And if you know any secrets, please do share down below. This is a game that's in development. Nobody knows all of its secrets yet. So if you know something we don't, please, please, please share it down below in the comment section. So once you get up here, you can actually walk around and run on top of the base. And when you come over to this little corner here, you'll know you're in the right spot if it looks like this, where you can see another breach in the wall. You'll be able to get in here too. There's a large breach in this side, but you'll come to a dead end. There might be spiders and such to fight, so be ready for it. This door here is locked, so you'll only be able to go this far in this section of the base, which is just filled with a bunch of growth and a bunch of uh, computer consoles. So you'll probably want to come in over on this side, which is just on the opposite of that breach. So if you get into this one, you'll know it's just on the opposite side here. Now this one's a little tricky to jump to, so when you jump, you'll probably want to go as low on the mushroom as you can and do a standard jump and walk forward. Don't run. It uh, seems to be pretty tricky to get into, so bring a dandelion just in case you fall, and it'll help you to break your fall. Inside, there's a lever, and there's also, uh, I believe, a strange note in a separate section of the base. We'll go take a look at that as well. And there's an analyzer here, and some of these doors open, except for that one that leads outside. And there's also living quarters up here, or somewhere where somebody was... Uh, I guess uh, relaxing or something like that. It seems like they were, I don't know, maybe having their lunch with the table up. I don't know. But it leads back around to the other side, which goes back down to the room with the lever on the other side there, right here. So very interesting room. Uh, you can pull the lever. There will be a noise, but nothing really happens. And that's uh, going to be bad if uh, something happens to you. You don't want that. You don't want that happening to you. But uh, anyway, so that is this base. You can see security cameras going on, too. Kind of weird. There's a lot of security around here. There's another section to this base, by the way, that's separate from this current section. So there's uh, two other sections to this base and one little extra point of interest. If you get around onto these branches here, you might find yourself another area to explore. There's another thing around here somewhere. Even I have to find it. It's kind of hidden. Uh, there's an area where batteries are stored that is supplying this base with power. So we'll go take a look at that next. And I actually have to look for it. Uh, and another thing I want to show you is this point of interest here, this satellite dish. Check this out. If you get close to it, you'll know that it makes a noise. You are able to jump up here, but it just seems to be a satellite dish that is uh, protruding and, and aiming over at the lasers for some reason. But I don't know exactly why. We'll have to figure that out soon enough. Now over here as well is a uh, what looks to be a power unit that connects to the... Uh, uh, to the uh, satellite dish as well. So not exactly sure what that is or how it's connected, but it looks like it's just basically braced onto this branch and the power cord goes to the satellite dish. So an interesting, uh, I guess, point of interest. All right, let's go find the last thing in this uh, hedge base. I don't exactly know where it is, so we'll have to, to see. I always thought it was behind this base, but if I'm flying around like this and it's hard to find, don't be discouraged if you can't find it yourself after a while. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we're inside the hedge now. Let's see where exactly this last little base is. Right, so it's somewhere up in these trees. I need to see exactly where it is. There it is. We found it by mistake. So on this side, uh, just above the base and in, in the back, you can see that there's a branch that leads over here to a door that might have like a, I guess a red light. There's some sort of a issue or something. It's not white light, but uh, it seems to be a red light. So take a look inside here. And we have ourselves the satellite dishes. There's some sort of more dishes that are providing some sort of signal. And there's battery packs in there as well. And you'll find an audio log, I believe, over here too. So these bases are definitely worth looking into. And uh, they're very interesting to, to see inside. A lot of good stuff inside them. And uh, a lot of good lore inside as well. There's one more thing to see, actually, that I forgot about. Something that we call the Observer Base. And that's, at least that's what we've been calling it in the... Uh, in the game. So over on this side, just next to the base, you can climb up these mushrooms here, and there's a branch that leads out to what you may have just seen, and uh, this door will open up if you get close to it. It'll actually swing open, and inside is some more, uh, I believe, a, a scabby or uh, any sort of lore. I can't quite recall, but there is something here, and whoever was up here was able to see over the entire backyard, everything from the corner of the hedge all the way over to the oak tree. Pretty much everything. They can see everything from here. 
So there's there's something to this base. So those are probably the most explorable uh, areas in the game for bases. And uh, we'll go take a look at the next base, which you'll need a gas mask to get to. So over here is something known as the Haze Base. And that is because, of course, they're doing some sort of weed killing over here. They've got the big old Weed Killer 420, which is the uh, name of the, um, <laughs> the weed killer right here. And uh, you'll need a, uh, a mask to get into this section and to get into this base. Now, you will not be able to get into this base without a glitch. We'll show you exactly how to do it. There are audio logs inside, so I'm really curious as to why the developer did not um, allow you to go inside this base any further. The door is locked. You're not able to get inside. But uh, as you can see, we've been doing some sort of a trick with a lean-to. And we'll show you what's inside this base another time. Uh, you'll be able to uh, kind of make it and, and phase through the door, and you'll be able to collect some of the things there. This door here is locked. So keep in mind, if you're near the lamp in the hay haze base near the mushrooms, there is a little door. But you cannot get through that one. But if you ha happen to get inside, you can see inside they're doing a lot of crazy different research. Here we have infected weevils, which are only found in the haze area. And they'll explode if they come near you. And there's also an analyzation station here. An analyze station? Whatever you want to call it. Um, it'll probably uh, be set off on your uh, little detector if you get close. But uh, down here, there's a lot of story and lore that's going on. And uh, just on the other side of this door is a uh, series of doors that lead to a couple of different rooms that are very important. One room is where there's a giant explosion and uh, something seems to be malfunctioning. Maybe something escaped. I don't know exactly, but there's a lot of something going on in here. There's a button that you can press, but it doesn't do anything. And there seems to be somebody who tried to escape. There's footprints or something um, leading out of the base. And somebody who was behind there kicked this out. It seems to be like a computer array or something like that. But inside, they have their separate base. And this is where the Watcher is. All those security cameras that you saw, there's a camera up here over on top of this uh, little cabinet. And, uh, yes, here's all the computer monitors to keep an eye on you or somebody else inside the game. There's also an audio log that's found there. And there's also an audio log found at the entrance near the floor panels that uh, we can listen to as well. They're called, I believe, Personal Log 4. And there's also Strange Note number 2. So you're definitely supposed to go to the hedge base before the haze base. But I don't know what's going to stop you from getting there. You can jump out that broken window too. Now down here... There's a cave that leads all the way to the bottom where there is some sort of a lever, which is similar to the other lever that we saw inside the hedge base. There's a lever that you can pull, and there are these red schematics here inside the oak base, and this appears to be the laser itself. You can see the little targeting reticle that'll turn blue before you uh, press the button, and then the large thing that'll turn purple when you do. You can pull this lever, nothing happens here, but there probably should be one of these up in the hedge base as well to get those active again or something they seem to be disabled so there definitely is a reason for you to come down here and there is definitely something to pull and that is going to be one of the lasers there so each one of these bases is connected to a laser so again there's the oak base the hedge base and the haze base and it seems like there's a, la a lever to pull in all of them except the lever inside of uh, oak base seems to be that it only leads to uh burgle it unlocks the door to burgle with a little small puzzle of pressing buttons then pulling the lever that's the one i'm mentioning now here's the floorboard where the uh, small little audio log is found if you're curious all right let's go find another interesting point of interest now there's many different things in this game including an ant cave that has a bunch of uh, stakes with ant heads on it and you can find armor in the uh, ant hills there's so much more so keep sharing it down below in the comment section. I know you're doing it. One curious thing we found, too, is that each one of the lasers has a different sticker. One is blue, one is pink, and one is orange. So it probably, refer uh, maybe it's a reference or refers to each one of the bases. I'm not entirely certain. But one thing I wanted to show you was the blueberry base now, as we call it, where there's a uh, where we started and where there's a, a hole in the wall. So let's go ahead and take a look over here. You see the little door uh, where we've placed some uh, clay you might be able to see it. there's a little gap in the wall and inside is the blueberry yeah so there's a blueberry with a big mouth they're doing some sort of experiments on these blueberries I don't know and there's uh, all sorts of different little uh, test tubes you can see one squished here uh, some of them don't have it in sometimes there's just a blueberry itself and then there's uh, what looks to be another flattened one I don't know this one seems to have had something it looks like it got squished as well 
but they were successful. One of them's missing though, so I have no idea. But uh, you can get inside here. Look at all these security cameras watching them. So that's uh, what the watcher was was keeping an eye on, we believe. But again, if you know any more of the story or have any speculations, please do share down below. All right, I'm going to go show you some other points of interest now, like, for example, the ant cave that we just mentioned. Um, inside the ant cave, you can find, uh, I believe, um, some sort of a rotten ant club or something like that. It's not as good as the one you can craft, but at least it's something that you can pick up and collect. And uh, there also is a uh, another area out here to find what's known as the larva. I believe it's the nar larva blade or larva knife. And it's something that you can get near the hot dog. But uh, you'll have to know where some of these locations are. Let's head back then to the ants. I think I'm going the wrong way. We want to go, go over this way. And uh, let's see here. So down below is uh, the little ant cave somewhere around here. We'll have to find it. It is nighttime. Maybe I'll need to wait till day. Might be a little easier for you to see. So let's do that. We'll find it during the daytime so I can point it out directly to you. All right. Now we are back for the uh, ant stakes. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird room. But anyway, let's go ahead and find where this is. So, do you remember the door that we saw earlier with the uh, access to get up to the hedge base? There's a uh, little cave around here somewhere uh, near this door. The door that uh, you can't get into that leads up to the upper sides of the base. And uh, if you go around here somewhere, even I have to find it myself because I can't quite recall. Uh, it's near this door though. So, if you've located that... Uh, door that leads into the hedge base uh, again that you can't get into then you know you're close to the right place I've only been here like once so uh, forgive me for uh, forgetting but anyway once you've located that door it should be around here somewhere let's go ahead and see if we can squeeze through and find out where it might be there's uh, access to it somewhere uh, let's see so it's uh, let's see this is where the blueberry base is and it shouldn't be over there anywhere so uh, somewhere between the blueberry base and the uh, little access tunnel. Let's see if we can find this. Uh, it's on the ground level, and you're not really able to see anything inside of it without a torch. But we should be able to see something here during the day, maybe. So there's that base. I think it, Actually, I think it's up here. So you got to get up on this side. Maybe I went past it. Oh, I did. Okay, it's right in there. That's why I didn't see it. So, uh, just to the right of this door... Uh, you can get up there by, I guess, going back, and uh, maybe you can get up this way. Go, go through this little gap here, and once you've gotten to uh, the area where the uh, sunlight is passing through and there's uh, the edge of the fence, you can, uh, if you need to, you can just find the corner of the fence here and just check every brick until you find this. Some sort of a very strange, uh, I believe it's a reference to the forest. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of ants on uh, stakes. Now, apparently you'll be able to craft this in the future, uh, it'll be an item that uh, if you get some ant heads, you can you can put them on stakes and uh, decorate your house with them. And there's some really like sinister looking thing here. Like look at the four, three ant bodies and a human body too. Apparently people have been dying. Miniature humans have been dying down here. So there's like hands and legs and arm bones and yeah, somebody designed something really freaky down here. And on the other side, there's a lean to. Uh, where there, I believe you can find an item over here, and there's a backpack that has like uh, some more of those in it, or ant heads or something, uh, so you can take those out of there. So there are items here. So someone was doing some crazy stuff here with a bunch of ants, and uh, yeah, so that's that's interesting. Now there's also bee armor that you can find in uh, the ant hill. There's um, also the larva blade, like I mentioned, and so much more waiting for you in the backyard. But that's pretty much like a good synopsis of all of the bases, how to get into them, what you get if you get into them, and which ones you just can't get into at the moment. Now when you go into uh, your data, let's go ahead and uh, jump over here, when you go back into uh, your, uh, let's see, if you go to your data, you'll see that this is pretty much everything that we found so far. So to hundred quote unquote 100% for the lore, if that's what you're looking for, you'll have every one of these items. Um, and there could be even more. So if you see something on the list that we missed, uh, make sure you let us know because we are definitely hungry for more of this game's story. All right, well, that is it for today, you guys. Thank you very much for being here, and I hope you're able to get into some of these bases. You can get in there legitimately, too, uh, building um, trampolines at least to get to the door and um, or, or ramps or uh, stairwells or whatnot. You can do that at the hedge base as well. You can use trampolines or um, grass stairwells. Sometimes you have to bring a lot of supply with you, but 
And yeah, it should be pretty good. All right, I just got to take care of something. Okay, got him. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you soon. Have a good one. If you're curious to know how to make uh, mint weapons or uh, insect uh, weapons or whatnot, we will be working on Tier 2 weapons soon and show you how to do that. So I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. And before we go, there's one last thing I wanted to show you. One final secret. I'm sure there's somebody who is uh, curious to know what's inside the shed. And this is the perfect time to show you what little curiosity lies inside. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek. What? There's a weird little, what looks to be like a potato or a, maybe a hamburger patty or something, a little chef. But what is this? Do you see that? What is that thing? Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Apparently, uh, Obsidian, the developer of this game, had access to a card game, and that's a card from that game. So that's what lies inside the shed. There's also a little comic strip, uh, the, the same thing in the comic strip form on the other side of the uh, little wall here. This is an under construction area, so everything north of the pond, or rather, I guess, south on your map, no, north on your map, uh, will be kind of off limits. Not off limits, but just not complete. There's nothing here except for a bunch of grass and uh, some of that. All right, guys, have a great day. For real. I'll see you next time. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you very much for the positivity, the tips, the questions, and the uh, extra knowledge down below in the comment section. Let us know what you know down below. I'll see you guys next time.